international and local observer missions, citizens of Ghana, our media partners, a good afternoon to you and a, welcome, a warm welcome to the National Coalition Center at the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. This afternoon, my mission here is very simple. It is to update you on the results that we're expecting at the National Coalition Center. You would all agree with me that it's been 23 hours since the end of the polls on the 7th of December. That is yesterday, the 7th of December, 2024. And it's been 23 hours since the close of the 2024 general election. As you may be aware, the commission has put in place a robust mechanism to receive the results from the regional coalition center. By convention, we have been able to declare results within 72 hours after the close of polls. The commission, however, broke that record in 2020 and was able to declare the results in 48 hours. However, 23 hours following the close of polls, we have received requests and some con questions from the general public as to when to expect the results. I'm happy to announce that the results have come in from the Ahafo region, and we are expecting that from here on we'll start seeing the results coming in. We thought that it's important to update our citizenry on the process for the collation of results as it pertains to our CI 127. Because the questions that we have received from the citizens is that, oh, the political parties have results and they have the pink sheets from, you know, the polling stations. And indeed, it is true that all the political parties are giving copies of the results at the, pink, at the polling station level. I think this, is, this heightens the level of transparency. But under the CI 127, we also have a process for the collation of the results. And it does not stop at the polling station. It does not stop at the receipt of pink sheets from the polling stations. Ours is quite an elaborate process that involves the political party agents at every step of the way. Additionally, it involves the observers, the media, and citizens as well. And the process emanates from the pink sheets, and it's important to note that the pink sheets form the basis of the results that are announced whether it is at the constituency level for parliamentary candidates or whether it is at the national level for presidential candidates. But it starts and emanates from the pink sheets at the polling station. Once you know, the results are counted at the polling station and parties are satisfied with the count of the ballot papers, they then go on to fill out the pink sheets after which party agents sign on to these pink sheets and are provided with copies. As you may be aware, a copy of those pink sheets are posted at every polling station across the country. From there, the pink sheets are sent to the constituency collation center where you have the agents of the parties as well. And right at the collation center, no counting is done. What is done is simply to collate the results at the, from the you know, pink sheets. And this is done at the constituency collation center. It is done in the presence of the agents of the parties and observers and media partners. And once parties are satisfied, they go on to sign the, coll the collation forms provided at the constituency collation center. They are also giving copies of these. And a copy is also pasted at the Constituency Collation Center. From the Constituency Collation Center, the results travel to the region where party agents are also present. Again, this is not a counting process. As I mentioned, the pink sheets form the basis of the results that are announced and the results that are collated. But the results from the constituency are also collated at the regional level once parties are satisfied, the form, the regional results collection forms and the summary forms are filled and the parties 
sign on to these, and they are given copies of these forms. It is at this level that the results are then faxed to the head office that is at the National Coalition Center. Again, the, the results come through fax, and it is done in the full glare of the party agents who receive the fax, and they, and they review it against what they may have received from their respective parties. If they are happy and it co conforms to what they have received, they then endorse it. After endorsement, the results are projected and as provisional results. Those provisional results are brought to the commission and we scrutinize it. And as the returning officer for the presidential, I go on to sign this. I'd like to ask that citizens exercise patience. It's just been 23 hours since the close of polls. The, res the process is elaborate, it is inclusive, it involves the political parties and observers at every step. And the whole idea is to ensure that what comes up at the end of the day has been, has involved, it's a bottom-up approach that has involved all the agents at all levels. And at the end of the day, what comes up is acceptable by all the candidates and their supporters and the citizens as well. So this is the elaborate process we have. And we thought that this afternoon, it's it was important to allay the fears and the anxieties of citizens. The commission is going to intend and will uphold the will of the people that, as expressed at the polls. And that will is what has been captured on the pink sheets. However, it's important that we exercise patience, we take our time, and we are very thorough in producing the results at the national level. As we speak, we have had results coming from AFO, and we are expecting more results coming in in the next few hours. We are trusting, we believe that within 72 hours, and this has been the norm, we should be able to declare the results of the presidential election. As I indicated, we broke that record in 2020 and declared it in 48 hours, but we do have 78, 72 hours within which to declare the presidential results. Of course, if all the results come in the next hour and we review them, we would not wait until 72 hours or 48 hours before we do so. It's important to mention also that the delays in some of the coalition centers has resulted from the besieging of our centers by supporters of the parties. In the anxiety and in the excitement, some supporters of political parties have besieged our coalition offices, making it difficult in some cases for our officers to carry out their functions. We have spoken directly with the leadership of the political parties and we've asked them to recall their supporters. We believe that this should be done and we should, our supporters, our staff should have an unhindered access and the free space to collate the results. So as I mentioned, we should, you know, we are looking forward to seeing the results. Of course, in cases where they have, impo it's impossible to collate results for a particular constituency, where it would not affect the outcome, and where the winner would still emerge winner with a 50, at least 50% plus one, the decision has been taken by the commission to proceed with those results, even if we don't have certain constituencies as part of the final results. Once we come up with the final results, we would have, we'll look at that and include it. But in order not to waste time where there's some difficulty to collate constituency results, we will proceed to collate the presidential results without it in as so long as it does not affect the outcome of the final result. So we'd like to thank you very much for your attention. And we believe that in the next few hours, we should be receiving some of the results. As I indicated, we have received the results from the Ahafo region, and we believe that the others would be coming soon. Before I end, I'd like to assure you, I think the Commission has walked the walk of transparency 
We have walked the walk of accountability. We have walked the walk of responsiveness. And we have walked the walk of inclusiveness. And this has been evident from the very start of our electoral calendar that is in the preparation of the voters' register to date. I think that the, the evidence is clear. The matter speaks for itself, as my colleagues in law would state. And the transparent manner in which we have conducted ourselves has ensured that this election has been so it has been credible, it has been fair, and it has been acceptable by all stakeholders. So we'd like to assure you and assure all the people of Ghana that it is the will of the people as expressed in the polls that has been reflected on the pink sheets. Now we ask that you exercise some patience. So transparent has been the process, and I believe that I think right from the first few hours after the opening of the polls to date, we have held, this is the eighth press conference that we have held as part of the 2024 election. Indeed, prior to this time, the commission held only one press briefing, and that was when the results were going to be announced. We believe that even in the next couple of hours, you would work with us, you would journey with us on the journey of transparency, accountability, responsiveness, and inclusiveness as we receive the results that will come in from the regions. We assure the citizens that we will work hard in their interest as our key stakeholders to ensure that every vote that is cast at the polling station counts. We well, thank you so much for your attention this afternoon. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make his beloved nation great and strong. Thank you very much.